Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math on unpaid algebra problem. So here we have t to the power of 8 minus 121 is equals to 0 and we solve this problem for uh, the positive real values of t. So I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now here first we need to focus on the exponent of this term and we can rewrite the exponent of t as this is 8 we write it as 2 times of 4 becomes 8 and minus this is over 121 equals to 0. And now we use here the nice exponent law you know about this law if we have a to the power of m multiplied by n we write it as a to the power of m to the power of n. So according to this uh, exponent law, uh, we move this 4 inside the term and it will be written as t to the power of 4 and its whole square minus here we have 121, we write it as 11 square and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here further in the next step, we use uh, the nice algebraic formula uh, to solve this problem. You know that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so here we can put these two values of a and b in the right hand side of this formula so that uh, after applying this formula our above equation is written as t to the power of 4 minus 11 into t to the power of 4 plus 11 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step we divide this equation uh, into the two cases. The first case is we write t to the power of 4 minus 11 equals to 0 and the second case is we write t to the power of 4 plus 11 equals to 0. And now uh, first we can uh, focus uh, into the second case and now in the second case we move this plus 11 to the right hand side and we get here t to the power of 4 is equals to minus 11. But uh, you remember the conditions in the question statement that our t should must be greater or equals to 0. Uh, so or in, that over t is a positive real number okay so uh, if you, t to the power of 4 is negative when you for solve further uh, it is not real uh, so in, the, in that case over t is not belongs to r as well as t is uh, less than 0 okay so these two conditions uh, this case is not fulfill our question statement conditions so that uh, we rejected this case and we can just proceed here this case only and now here in this case we again rewrite this equation as we can write t to the power of 4 as t square and its whole square minus this is 11 we write 11 as a square root of 11 and its whole square and this is equals to 0 here we can apply square and square root at the same time of this equation and now we again apply the above formula so according to this formula we can uh, just uh, break this equation and we write it as first you have t square minus uh, square root of 11 into t square plus square root of 11 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now we again divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write t square minus square root of 11 equals to 0 and the second case is we write t square plus square root of 11 equals to 0. And now uh, in this case we can find the value of t for this we move this minus square root of 11 to the right hand side so it will become t square is equals to square root of 11 and uh, because we solve this problem for the positive real values of t so uh, here we can just take the square root on both of the sides in order to find the value of t. 
so this in the right hand side we have double square root so this two and this square root are gone so we get here t is equals to so uh, the, uh, if you can write our answers into the radical form so uh, it will be written as double square root of 11 or in other words uh, we write over this solution as t is equals to 11 to the power of 1 over 4 so this is the first positive real solution of the given equation and now here uh, in order to find other solution we need to solve this equation okay so here we can write uh, this case so here uh, we again move this plus square root of 11 to the right hand side it will be written as t square equals to minus square root of 11 so because if you can find the value of t from here uh, we need to take the square root on both of the sides uh, for this uh, if when you take square root on both of the side then our right hand side will becomes uh, here into the complex form so in this case our t is uh, not belongs to r because it will becomes complex or t is not greater than or equals to zero so uh, this case cannot satisfy our both of these conditions uh, so uh, it means that uh, we will just rejected this case uh, because this is not satisfied the given conditions of the question so uh, here finally we say that we have only one solution of the given equation and that is t equals to 11 to the power of 1 over 4 this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.